Welcome to another yoga and a story. So today I thought it'd be lots of fun to play a little bit with, with this guy, <laughs> our fun little scarf. Um, I'm just gonna bring that off to the side. The story I want to read to you today is called The Night Before Easter. And it's one of my favorite stories because it kind of piggybacks off the night before Christmas and the night before Halloween and the night before um, the first day of school and all those books. They're so much fun and I love all of them. So I thought this would be fun to read today. Um, but before we start, I thought it would be great to do some Yogi Says like we did the other day. So um, I'd like to play Yogi Says. So are you ready? Great. Okay, so here's how we're gonna play. We are going to, I'm just gonna, I have all my cards here. I'm just gonna pull out a card and then we're gonna do Yogi Says. So we'll see whatever Yogi tells us to do. You ready? Okay, here we go. Yogi Says, tree pose. So try to bring, your foot doesn't have to go as high up as this foot. It can be down here, it could be on top of this foot or on your, um, on your like calf, but you can try to do tree pose and maybe switch legs. See if you can balance on the other leg and hold it for two breaths. One and two. Good job. All right. Yogi says <gasps> bat pose. Let's do some bat pose. Lay flat on your back. Cross your arms over your chest like this and bring those legs straight up. And hold it for two breaths, ready? One more. Good job. All right, here's another one. Yogi says, do cow pose. Excellent, so you're going to um, sit up on your hands and put your uh, your knees down on the ground and make your feet flat and you're gonna arch your back down right in cow pose okay and hold it for two breaths ready one more in and out good job all right let's do two more poses and then we'll read our story okay here we go Yogi says, oh, I like this. Do owl pose. You could do this one. Everybody take two breaths in, or well, one at a time. Ready? Breathe out and again. Good job. All right, here's our last card. Let's see what it's gonna be. Um, Yogi says, Oh, wow, dragon pose. So one leg is on the ground, one leg is bent up like this, and you have both hands up in the air like this. <clears throat> All right, and let's count for two for breathing. You ready? Good job, and again. Excellent. All right, nice, round of applause, round of applause. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is sit in a comfortable position. So if that's crisscross applesauce for you, you can sit that way. If you want to um, sit in a chair or the couch, I want you to get nice and comfy so we can listen to the story about the night before Easter. So I'll give you a second to do that. Good job. All right, are you ready? Here we go. The Night Before Easter by Natasha Wing. Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was twirling out on the lawn. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds, 
while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Then out in the barn, the hens made such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear, but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. That means he had a bent ear. He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that, except the Easter Bunny. What do rabbits do? Why wouldn't any other rabbit walk on two feet? Yeah, because rabbits hop, hop, hop. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose. Those are kind of, those are different kinds of flowers. Jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. He just walked right in that front door. <laughs> his soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled. His whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose like a berry. He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure, filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and on to the floor. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs, looking over each one. He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose and went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. I read his note as he hop hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. These are all the other books that you can get. They're so much fun. Oh, well, thank you for joining me today. And I hope you have an amazing weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.